Good morning, dear students. You are welcome to our home reading lesson. The theme of our lesson is Hunting for a Job by James Gold Cousins. This lesson is prepared by the teacher of special disciplines of the English language of Mangestau Humanitarian College, named after Moran Jarao Singerbeck Ole. You know that home reading lesson is connected with the literature. Literature is the establishment of humanities, societies, convictions, and customs. It fills in as impression of the real world, a result of the quality and a window to a belief system. Short story is a piece of prose fiction that typically can be read in one sitting and focus on a self-contained incident with intent of evoking a single effect or mood. Lesson objectives enrich the vocabulary, describe the characteristics of the personages and analyze qualitatively, demonstrate ability to think critically and problem solve. I want to give you information about the author of this story. James Cold Cousins, American novelist whose writings dealt with a life in the middle class America. Cousins grew up on State Island, New York, graduated from the Kent School in 1922 and attended Harvard University for two years. In a year of teaching in Cuba, he accumulated background material for the short novel Cockpit, 1928, and The Sun, Perdition, 1929. He gained critical attention in 1931, when his novella San Pedro won the Scribner's Prize. Thereafter, he published increasingly complex novels, most of which focus on professional people. In The Last Adam, 1933, the protagonist is a doctor, man, and a brethren, 1936, depicts the life of an Episcopian minister, the just and the unjust, 1942, and by love possessed, 1957, are about lawyers, and the guide of honor, 1948, concerns Air Force officers and the men. Ask me tomorrow, 1940, is an autobiographical novel, and children and others, 1964, is a short story collection. Cousins' works reflects a philosophy of political and social conservatives, and some have maintained that he was slow to receive widespread critical acclaim because of his conservative views. Acclaim did come, however. He received the Pulitzer Prize for Fiction in 1949 for the God of Honor and the Howells Medal of the American Academy of Arts and Letters in 1960 for By Love Possessed. The later was also Cousin's greatest popular success. His later works became increasingly convoluted in plot and style, especially his last novel, Morning, Moon and Night, 1968. A collection of his work with critical appraisals 
can be found in just representations in 1978. And now, students, it's time for a video. Let's watch a video and guess what is the main idea of this story. Are you a student but not really sure what to do after your studies? Or are you looking for a job but not sure how to get one? We will now show you five steps to a better job hunt. The first step is your personal brand. Do you know what you have to offer to a potential employer? Start your job searching process by finding out what you want, what you know and who you are. It's the combination of these elements that makes you unique. Step number two is orientation. When you know what you want, what you know, and who you are, it's time to look for the right opportunities. You may learn about positions through many different channels, but remember, the majority of positions are actually never publicly advertised. The third step is the CV. This is perhaps your most important sales document. Remember, an employer uses on average 20 to 30 seconds to scan through your CV to get an impression of you. Therefore, it needs to be easy to read and relevant to the job you're applying for. The fourth step is the application. You must tailor your application to the position you're applying to. It's easy to see if an application is mass-produced or if you are genuinely interested in the job. Use the ad actively when you write your application. The ad is often filled with tips on what the company is looking for. Giving good examples is a good way to show that you have relevant skills and experiences. The final step is the interview. Here's your chance to shine and really show your motivation and fit for this particular job. Hiring anyone is a huge risk to the company, but good examples describing your competence and who you are as a person may reduce their uncertainty. Your job during the interview is to make you the least risky choice. Job hunting is demanding, but well worth your time. The career services at BI are here to assist you throughout the process. Check out what's available at your BI campus. Okay, you have watched this video and uh, I hope that you guessed that the main idea of this, of our today's lesson is the profession. And uh, I want to say about our teacher profession. You know that our teacher profession is great. And I hope you like your future profession. Every teacher has the ability to develop relationship with their students. Every teacher should be patient, caring, and a kind personality. Design lessons for mastery. Be curious, proactive in the terms of gaining new skills and knowledge. Every teacher should be willing to explore new technologies and different ways they can improve teaching and learning. Engage in professional communities, keep learning, understand technology, and participate in social media. And now, let's start our vocabulary work. Listen, please, attentively. To get out at the South Station, сайти на станции Южная, солтыстык бекетте түсіп қалу, to make somebody comfortable, удобно устроить кого-либо. Брюге ангайлы жағдай жасау. To get oneself established, устроиться, найти работу, жұмысқа орналасу. Hospitality, гостеприимство, қонақжайлық. Be of utmost importance to somebody. Быть очень важным для кого-то. Брюге уте манысты болу. To make an application for a job. Дать заявление о приеме на работу. Или попроситься на работу. Жумысқа қабылдануға арыстап сыру. 
give an advertisement – рекламировать, поместить рекламу, жарнама жасал. An alert energetic man – живой, внимательный, энергичный человек. Окопты – жигерлы адам. To engage somebody – нанимать на работу, жумыска кавылдау. It's flashed through my mind – взять у меня промелькнула мысль в голове. Маган бір ой келді. I hope that you will use these new word combinations in your speech. Hunting for a job by James Gold Cousins. Before you read, read the title and imagine what the text may be about. Read the first paragraph and try to name the problems in the text we'll discuss. The employing company is called the Pope Manufacturing Company. Imagine what it produces. Think of it, please. Dear students, let's read this story very carefully. You may put the video on the pause. Read it two times or three times. Read please carefully and try to pronounce the words and the word combinations correctly. Students, let's answer the questions. I hope that you understand the meaning of this story. Let's answer. Who was the only person the author knew in Boston? In what way was he received? Why was it of great importance to him? What made the young man apply for a job to the Pope Company? Describe Colonel Pope. What was his answer to the young man's story? Why did the man still hang on, though he found out that the company was laying off hands? What question did the colonel ask him? Describe the young man's job and say whether he coped with it. Why did the man continue to work for Mr. Wilmot, though he hadn't engaged him. What happened at the end of the week? What job was the young man offered in the long run? What idea flashed through his mind? What happened to the man to get his first job? Think and answer questions. Comprehension tasks. First, why does the title suit the story? Second, confirm the idea suggested by the author in the last paragraph. Do you agree with the statement, water would find its level? How do you understand it? Support your opinion with examples. Is the problem of unemployment real nowadays? Is this problem connected with the problem of wasted lives? Give your reasons, please. Have some of your friends ever hunted for a job? Was their experience a success? How do you yourself plan to find your own job? Find some additional information on the same problem. Please do this comprehension task. The next task, paraphrase the sentences using phrases from the text. Miss Bennett and her family received very warmly. Everybody tried to help him to find some kind of job. Their concern and hospitality were very important to him. He told Colonel Pope that he was unemployed and needed any job very much. The man thought, that everything would be lost for him if he didn't find a job. He has never ridden a bicycle in his life. Mr. Wilmot 
neither employed the journalist or dismissed him. The boss made him responsible for the uptown ring. It suddenly occurred to him that his willingness to do any job had helped him to get his first job. Your home task discuss the following and uh, write your opinion. Say, if you agree or disagree with the statement, what you would find its level, how do you understand it, give examples in support of your opinion. Give a character sketch of the main hero. Compare him with the heroes of the story, success story. Is the problem of unemployment acute nowadays? Why? Is this problem interconnected with the problem of wasted lives? Give your grounds. What is your attitude towards the main character of the story? Student, keep yourself, please. Stay home, stay safe. Thank you very much for your work. The lesson is over. Goodbye.